Well, good evening, everybody. Hope you're doing well. You too. So we have an action-packed agenda, as you probably saw. Uh, first item on the agenda is approval of the minutes from the last meeting. Did anybody find any mistakes or have any corrections to offer? No. All right. All in favor of accepting the minutes, say aye. 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 All right, it's done. Uh, let's see, updates and other business. I guess the only thing I have, well, I have a couple of things. One is um, the Sami Farm got me the supplemental information that we required as part of the order of conditions. So I gave them the green light to proceed. Um, and uh, the, the uh, Hurlihy Park project is running into funding problems. And so they may have to scale it back. Uh, they asked me to come to a meeting to discuss options. And now it's sort of back to the drawing board because you know the economy and inflation and everything else has made everything so expensive that they can no longer afford to do it for the grant that they got. So we may have to revisit that project. They may have to submit an all new notice of intent, but we'll wait and see what they come up with. Just thought I'd let you know. And I know that, um, I think I may have mentioned at the last meeting that the Rec Commission was interested in discussing irrigation at Hurley Park. So I got in touch with the, the person who had contacted me and said, you want to come in to our meeting again? And he wrote back and said, uh, not yet. We'll get back in touch with you. We still have to talk about it some more. So um, those are the updates that I have. Any, do you have any news or updates from, from your perspectives? Just mine with the CPC. We're just looking at the overall CPC plan if, as a commission as a whole, if we want to change anything that's in that plan or not, nor objectives that we had put in there years ago, if anything had changed. Yeah, it's an interesting question. Uh, I think we, last time we were asked, we highlighted, I think, five areas in Waitley that uh, we thought were not well covered by other organizations that were out to buy land. Uh, in Waitley, and uh, we could look at those again and see if we if we agree or if we yeah. want to change any of it. To actually find the plan. I don't actually. I gotta find go through my files and find it. <laughs> What's the timeline for? Oh, it won't. It won't be till our next meeting in November. So November. Okay. Yeah. And, and is that before or after our next conservation commission meeting? It would be. I think before the ninth. I think we were looking at our next meeting. Okay, well, let me pull up my GIS and see if I have um, those plotted out that I can show you and then mm -hmm. if people have thoughts about it. We can give them to you before your next meeting. Sure, appreciate that. I don't think there's much change. So <laughs> I think it's just the main one was I think because the historical commission wanted to update a few items and then the rec commission has changed a few people. So we had to update the plan that way. And from the housing committee, um, we had that survey out for a long time, and um, now the survey is closed, and we're making a plan based on people's feedback. And then there will be a public meeting for more feedback on the draft plan. And then after that's revised based on public feedback, it will go to the select board and the planning board to be approved. So we're still in the early stage, but we finished the survey. Oh, yeah, there was an article in the reminder. I don't know if you saw that or not. A, a long article. I did not. Selectman's meeting. And uh, was, apparently there was a lot of discussion, and with, especially with Fred Orlowski. <laughs> and the the low um, participation rate in the survey. Yeah. It wasn't any lower than you usually get in a survey. And the nice thing about it, I don't know if they said this in, in the um, article, but it was actually representative of Waitley's demographic of with Waitley's okay. population as far as the breakdown of people who answer the survey. Yeah, the article said there were 47 responses. Yeah. Yep. So <laughs> all right, let's see. But I feel like 
um, it's not just the number of people you get is we we offered people a chance to give us feedback if they chose not to you know that's their mm -hmm. choice they can't say we weren't given an opportunity to weigh in you know what i mean oh yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You always get that on the meetings. You always have public meetings and then nobody shows up. And it's like, oh, why'd you vote for right. that? Well, yeah. it was open. <laughs> yep. You had your chance. All right. I can show you the what we had submitted last time. So let me share my screen with you. Oh yeah, those areas, yep. Yeah. Um, so we didn't include a lot of the Great Swamp because the state was buying up land there already. The Western part of the state, there's a bunch of watershed land and there's uh, Audubon owns some land. Actually, I should, I should probably put in protected open space. So let me do that. Glad you know what you're doing, Scott. I would have no clue. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. All right, let me. All right, so I got to make a different color here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that helps or not, but <laughs> yeah, that that's a little more readable. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think these areas are mostly wetland. Let me just turn on the wetland. Yep. Yeah. So these are you know fairly extensive wetlands in town, but they're away from the road, so they're not really visible. They're probably not a huge priority for acquisition because it's all protected wetlands anyway. Uh, but this also includes some land around the wetlands, so that that might be worthwhile. Mm -hmm. This is the area now that has the, the Casey property and the Waitley Woods property. So I think this would still be a, a pretty good priority. Um, so Scott, can you... Can you clarify this? So the, the light green is already protected and yep. the area that's within red, we're looking at the area that's within red, but not light green already. Yeah, I mean, the areas within red were the, were the priority areas that we nominated and some of them may have been protected since we did this. I mean, like Waitley Woods, certainly. Um, uh, so areas that we have not included are like the Mill River Corridor, uh, the Great Swamp, there's a lot of it is already protected. Um, and then much of land, yeah, I see that. Yeah. You know, this is this is a, an area of pretty wet land, but it's mostly agriculture around it. So uh, it's not really natural land, but if we could get APR on that, that would probably be good. Um, and then, you know, the, this area here, we haven't included a lot of this is already backland mostly. Um, but I, I think we may have assumed that if this became available, that 
some of these other entities would pick it up, Mass Audubon, or um, I think some of this is actually um, wildlife management area too, the, the Judson Farm. That's right. One of them too. So what do you think? That's good, yeah. So that gives me an idea what to talk about on my meeting. Thank you. I can... I can do a screen. I can uh, create an image out of this and email it to you, Andy, if you want. That'd be, that'd be perfect. Yeah. Do you do you want all of this protected land, or do you want just the uh, the red border areas? No, you can do both. That'd be fine. Like I said, if you just that would be fine. Like and I can explain it in our meeting. That'd be perfect. Okay. Do you want wetlands or not? Uh sure. That that explains. I can explain that. So yeah. So wetlands, protected lands, and then our initial yeah. focus areas. Yep. Great. Great. And I can just increase this thickness a little bit and that'll make it stand out a little more. Perfect. Great. Thank you. How about the rest of you folks? You have any thoughts about adding to or changing the borders of this at all? Guy, can you talk a little bit about the um, the section that's closest to the river? What's going on there? Along here? Um, the, the red section that's closest to where you oh, are. This one. Yeah, I think that one I I sort of chose, I think I advocated for that one because it was a, a significant size wetland area that shows up as you know high scoring in this uh, index of ecological integrity. Uh, so <clears throat> this area, here shows up as important. So does this one, this wetland, and then the great swamp wetlands. So we have some of the, you know, important wetlands statewide here in Waitley. So I thought it was, since this one is already mostly protected and these two are not, that these might be protected just because of their importance as wetlands. And then these as, you know, basically open space from Mount Esther to Chestnut Mountain, to the area where uh, Waitley Woods is located. We have protected quite a bit of land in Waitley. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right, well, I guess we'll stick with this then. Yep. yep. Scott, what's, good. what's the yellow? Um, Here? Yeah. What is that? It's probably a different type of wetland. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's not a tidal flat or a barrier beach. It must be a shrub swamp. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, sorry, I think this is a dumb question, but what does the light green mean? This light green is protected open space. It's already protected land. Okay, and and is it protected in different ways? Because like you have all those those farm fields next to the river. Yeah, it is. So okay. Um, <clears throat> basically, uh, symbol. Categorize. So these are different ways that we can categorize it. So one of the ones that's often used is the primary purpose, whether it's for conservation or agriculture. Um, so it made it all disappear. How did that happen? <laughs> um, oh. Categorize primary purpose. Now I have to classify. So these are the various different uh, colors automatically assigned. So most of this brown stuff here is this APR land. Mm -hmm. So it's agricultural. Um, these are areas that are probably for general conservation. These are watershed, so water water supply. Um, 
And over here too, around this reservoir is another water supply. And then the pink one I'm less sure about. Let me. Um, pink. And maybe Conway State Forest. Oh, State, yeah, State Forest. Yeah, 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 it is. Uh, yeah. And so we have a little bit in here. Yeah, DCR Division of State Parks. This is Department of Fish and Game. Um, and this is water supply land. Yeah, and then there's, who knows what that is, town of Waitley, it must be a cemetery or something. Yeah, is that, no, that's a school, I think, maybe. I don't know what Hard it to is. see with, without the roads. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to figure out. All right, so this is. This River Road, Christian. This looks like Christian Lane, and this looks like Long Plain Road, right? Or is that River Road? Uh, yeah, you can tell plain. if we can see the river. Long plain, yeah. I bet you this is supposed to be up there, and it's supposed to be the school. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The right no, yeah, yeah. The it is, yeah. just a lot. Yep. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> it, it got misplaced. So it should be up here for the school. Yeah. And this is Herlihy. Yep. And then the industrial park. So it would be helpful for me to have this map also um, for the housing committee. Okay. But I'm not sure which things I need to have highlighted. Well, I can put, make a series of maps that show these various different things without having too much on any one map. So we could- That would be great. We could do <laughs> that plus wetlands and take out open space. And I don't know if, I imagine you probably don't need this index of ecological integrity, but I could no, do this too. It would be helpful to know what areas are already protected and are um, you know, not developable, plus areas that we would like to be protected. Right, so- That's important to me. Yeah. So protected open space and wetlands are a lot of the constraints on development. You know, land that's already protected and stuff that's too wet to to, to develop. So yeah, I, I'll do these as separate images, and I'll send you one of each. Okay, thanks so much. Thank you, Scott. Because yeah. a lot of people look at a map and they just have no idea mm -hmm. of what's developable and what isn't. And do you do you want the open space in the separate colors like this, or do you want them all the same color? Um. You mean that are protected in different ways? Yeah. Or just that, that they're protected? No, I think just the fact that they're protected is fine. Yeah, just one color, I think, would be okay. One color, okay. Yep, that works. Yeah. Okay, I can do that. Thank you. Any other discussion or other business? Not that I can think of. That was the main one. <laughs> have, have you uh, seen the activity along Haydenville Road the last several days? It's, it's early work for the big reconstruction project that's going to be going on on Haydenville Road. Oh, oh yeah. From the bridge at uh, Bardwell's up to the town line in, in uh, Haydenville. Hmm. Um, huge project. Uh, they're in the, right now they're drilling along the edge of the road to check for ledge to see how much lasting they're going to need to do. Hmm. Oh, wow. Um, you know how tight it is through there with the, uh, the brook on one side. Mm -hmm. 
and yeah. that uh, steep land coming down on the other. It is going to be widened. Oh, wow. I, I spoke it, to Keith asking about what the drilling was, and he said they're they're checking for ledge to identify where the blasting will be as they do that. Yeah. And just trying to make like a more of a uh, like a bike lane or a brake lane or something, or well, then there's going to be some some allowance for bikes, but. Uh, the road's so narrow and uh, so much comes down on it from the uh, the steep slope above. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be a big project. There are water lines running under there mm -hmm. to connect the reservoirs. Um, and there, there have been a couple meetings on it, um, which I learned about after they happened. <laughs> yeah, um, I went to one of them when they, uh, Williamsburg, where they had the meeting in Williamsburg. They let me know about it and one of the key issues is that a lot of the the land near the the, the town line between Waitley and Williamsburg is, you know, they're going to need to improve drainage on the Waitley yeah. side, and yet they don't they they're constrained about being able to discharge it into the reservoir because it's a drinking water supply. So they they were considering all these different options, including piping all of the runoff from the Waitley side past the dam and blunting it into the stream below the reservoir. Um, and they were considering other options as well. And the, what I the issue that I raised is is that if you're going to collect all of this runoff and discharge it below the dam, you may actually dewater portions of the stream above the reservoir that is currently receiving that water and will no longer receive it if you divert it around. So I don't know what the final plan is. I, I'm sort of wondering if they're going to need to file with us, but that's what I'm wondering too. If the discharge point is in Williamsburg and all they're doing is collecting road runoff and they're not affecting any wetlands or within 200 feet of that stream, they may be out of our jurisdiction. Hmm. Or it may be that once the ledge, you know, the doing the ledge work is something they have to do before they file. You know, to, to finalize their design. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's like a big project. <laughs> yeah, so work, work, work of some sort has begun on it. So we should expect to see that at some point, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, they finished the work outside my house. Uh, <laughs> at least for now, we'll see what else mm -hmm. they have to do besides mm -hmm. paint the lines. But it's sort of a mystery to me sometimes to see, you know, patches of new pavement and then old pavement, then new pavement, not really understanding why it's not continuous, but sure. I'm sure there's a good explanation. Mm -hmm. All right, well, in that case, I guess we're done for tonight. Um, thank you all for coming out. It's good to see you. And we'll see you again next Coming month. Out. I'm actually sitting in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> i know it's sort of metaphorically coming out yeah, yeah. Well, that's why that's why zoom meetings are such a great um option sometimes <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll see you next month okay. all right, good night. Thanks, good night. Good night.